export your Quizlet study sets and import them to Kahoot and Quizzes. So first I'm going to start by having my study set open here in Quizlet and I'm going to scroll, scroll down to see my three dots here to get my more menu and I'm going to select export. So now here, um, my between term and definition option needs to be set to tabs and the between rows to new line. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy this text. And in Kahoot, I'm going to start by creating a new set, a new Kahoot and new. So I'm gonna go to add question and I'm going to select the import spreadsheet option and I'm gonna download the template. So I've already done that, and this is what it looks like. So now I'm going to start with question one. I'm going to right-click and select Paste Special, and I'm going to select Text. So typically we see this in a study set where the definition or the, well, the term is in the first column, and then we'll see the question or the definition in the second column. So what I need to do is kind of change them so the actual question is in the question column. So I'm going to grab the first column, I'm going to cut, I'm going to paste it in the third, right there and then i'm just going to grab everything and um kind of cut them into the first here there we go so now we have the correct order where the question is actually the question or the definition and then the term would be one of the answers so now what a, a what a what we need to do is at least have a second answer in our um questions here so i'm just going to type answer here and I'm going to make sure that this is um, of, in all of my questions here so my 52 terms and another thing that we need to set is the correct answer so I'm going to type in the the number for the answer that is correct and this will like be one so I'm going to scroll like fill all of my questions here and now I'm going to go ahead and save go back to Kahoot and select that file I'm going to open it and select upload so now I'm going to select add questions and they've been imported to my Kahoot so now I'm going to save this mm. Okay, so I think that question, that first one, was just set as draft. So I'm going to go ahead and remove it. So I have all the questions completed. Save my set. I'm going to do test import. I'm going to continue. And now the thing is that when you play the Kahoot, you're going to want to set as answers to um be randomized so before you select the team or the classic mode here we're going to go into settings and there is this option where you can set randomized order of answers so the correct answer is not always a or one so this is going to help you with that um, and now i'm ready to play my kahoot and um, have my questions there from quizlet so now whenever we want to play or use it in quizzes, we're going to go through basically the same idea. We're going to go into the question or creation of my quizzes, and there is the option to import from a spreadsheet. So here is the link to download that sample template, which we have right here. And we're going to have the questions here. Now, in quizzes, it requires a little bit more information from us because there's different types of questions questions here or different types that we need to kind of like mm, complete. So I'm going to remove these questions that are in the template here and then let me go ahead and remove all this. There we go. And now I'm going to go back to that uh, quizzes, copy my text, 
think it was already in my clipboard. And here I can go ahead and paste special select that text. And then we have this here. So we're going to basically do the same thing. I'm going to grab my answers in this case. I'm going to cut them and I'm going to paste them in my option one. And then my question will go in that first column over here. And now here I'm going to, mm, this is going to be tricky. I had not touched testing this one out. You see, maybe it would be best if we pasted gonna grab my cards go back to my Excel and let's start from column C okay and then I'll grab my question from D and paste it in A and then my question here, I would select multiple choice. And I can go ahead and fill that. I would add another answer to my option two and fill that down. And then here I'm going to do one for my correct op uh, answer. And I'm going to leave everything else blank. So I'm going to save this, close it, go back to quizzes, and now I'm ready to import my spreadsheet. So now I'm going to go ahead and open this. There it is. I'm going to import, and I got my questions ready to go. I can go ahead and save this. And now when I launch or play this quizzes activity, I can go ahead and also select to have those answers shuffled. So it's not always answer A or one, that is the correct answer. Um, and there you have it. You can import those study sets into quizzes or Kahoot with a little tweaking um, in that spreadsheet. I'm going to show you how to import your Quizlet card sets into StudyMate. Okay, so here I am Quizlet, and I'm going to open the card set that I'd like to uh, import into StudyMate. I'm gonna scroll down to find the More menu, and I'm going to select Export. Here I'm going to tell Quizlet how I'd like to format my terms and definitions. So the between term and definition, I need to select this custom option and I will insert this um, backward slash and N for a new line. And in the between rows, I'm going to select this custom line where there are a couple of lines already entered for me. If not, you just need to enter the line uh, code twice like we see it in the screen. So from here, I'm just going to copy text. And I'm going to go over to StudyMate, which I can find in my Schoology course. On the left hand side menu, I select Study Mate and I land in this dashboard where I can create new projects. So now, here I'm going to create a new project for this example. I'm going to use that world history title and I'm just going to put here study cards. I can change the style, I can do the random order if I'd like to. But here for now, I'm going to hit save. And now I'm on to changing my card set so I can import my terms and definitions. So here I'm going to select import. 
And because we're working with terms and definitions, I'm going to select this definitions option. And I'm going to then paste here what I copied from Quizlet. So, so there they are, all nicely formatted, like StudyMate wants them. I can go ahead and now select preview. I can confirm that everything looks fine. And if I need to make any edits, you can go ahead and select edit input. I'm going to continue with this process. And now my cards are added to my study set. I can go ahead and edit individual cards here or delete them. But for now, this looks good. So now I can go back to StudyMate and select study, or I can go ahead and share this study um, card set with my students if I need to. And the really nice thing in StudyMate is that I can also see my student usage to find out if it's like a popular or if my students are actually accessing this study cards, the, the study cards or not. All right. So I hope you find that process easy to import all your Quizlet sets into StudyMate. Thank you for watching.